Aloha. I fed all the street cats and gave them fresh water. Everyone was accounted for except for Buddy. He's been missing a few days. It's Labor Day weekend. Another summer is over and a new fall begins. When the leaves change, it reminds you to let go of previous things. It might be bare during winter, but spring always returns new leaves. There's nothing sadder than people who hold on to things for too long. The married couple who should have got divorced 20 years ago. The 40-plus-year-old man who's still rocking out to the same songs he did when he was 16. Or the piece-of-shit lie streamer who thinks I have something to do with him because I hung out with him two times four years ago. That's why women don't give guys like that a chance. They go on one date with him, then they gotta be worried about being harassed for years after. Why are the top male streamers on Twitch five feet tall ugly video game incels? Answer that. Twitch is going down. TikTok's gonna eat it up and spit it out. Imagine calling yourself a streamer like it's a fucking profession. I'm a streamer. I'm gonna go back to streaming like it's a verb in Webster's Dictionary. It's the pathetic middle school mentality where he thinks he's part of some large school. Newsflash, people of all walks of life in 2023, which it's gonna be, go live on different platforms. TikTok Live doesn't have that vibe. There isn't like a basement dweller places like on Twitch. You know, people go live from McDonald's, Subway, offices, EMS workers, doctors. Fuck, they even go live from prison. However, if you want to succeed and be sustainable, you have to offer something. Me, I'm a writer. I tell great stories. But if you're calling yourself a streamer like it's a job, the fuck? You make good facial expressions? Your reactions? I got this whole tribe of incels on Twitch who hate me, but I'm their worst nightmare. I'm tall, good looking, and unlike them, I have many talents, most notably my talents to speak, to tell a story, and write a monologue. Some of these punks been calling up stores I visited, they harassed my local post office. That's as beta as you can get. One of them was riding around on his bike following me yesterday, asked what he's doing. He's like, I'm allowed to, you're famous. And much more powerful than you.